Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Leo. Um, this is going to be for your December 2022. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with death and love, okay? Uh, and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read what the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch your roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet um hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so um, Leo, let's get started. Tell me about Leo here. Tell me about Leo in love. Tell me about Leo in love. Over energies for Leo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for uh, December 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. Tell me about Leo in love. Tell me about Leo in love. Tell me about Leo in love. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. All right, we had a three of pentacles that came out in the reverse. So something's not working out here, Leo. You and your person are not on the same page. You guys are not really reading the same book, okay? Two of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there's a situation where someone here is deciding, deciding whether to walk away from this or not. You could be dealing with someone here that has options here too, okay? Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. King of Swords. So we have, we have two pairs here. Okay, we have pairs here, uh, true pairs uh, with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This is a soulmate connection. You know, I feel like there's a situation that you want to talk to somebody here, but someone here is not listening to you. Someone here does not want to talk. We have someone here that's avoiding you. So, you know, there's a lack of conflict and resolution here. We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles. So it just seems like someone here is really distracting themselves right now. You know, I feel like, you know, you could be dealing with someone here that could be juggling a lot when it comes to work. I mean, they could be juggling you with someone else here. I mean, you know, it seems like this person has a decision to make between you and somebody else. But, you know, it seems like someone here is definitely, definitely not paying any sort of attention here to, to you, Leo. Uh, three of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, judgment here, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like you're coming to some sort of big, big realization that something's not working out here for you, Leo. The Two of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, uh, we have someone here that has options. Yeah, uh, and I feel like, you know, there's a situation where I feel like you're talking to this other person to get some sort of insight or get some sort of answers, but they're not giving it to you. I mean, you could be this queen here where you're, you are the other option and you're, real, you're, you're finding out a secret that this person might be committed elsewhere here, okay? Uh, queen of Swords, we have the Death card, Scorpio Energy, King of Swords here, and the Devil. What's happening is I feel like this person found you, okay? This person found you. They're in a toxic relationship that they're trying to end. They're trying to leave behind. But I feel like this person's having a hard time leaving. There's a bit of trauma bond in this other situation here. Okay, you're finding out you're the other person. Okay, um, so I, you know, it could be that you're you're stepping away from this. All right, death cards, uh, Scorpio energy, the devil, Capricorn energy, the two of pentacles here, and the fool, Aries energy, the eight of pentacles here, and the knight of cups. I do feel like you're gonna take a make a decision and take a leap from this and really not pay attention to this person anymore. Uh, you know, I feel like you've been waiting around for this person and you feel like you don't want to wait here, uh, Leo. So the full Aries energy, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the person that Leo's dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? For December 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo.
Right, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Cherry and the Knight of Wands, the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords. There's definitely jealousy and competition here. There's definitely confusion. I mean, obviously you're the other option here, okay? And I feel like, you know, this person is definitely trying to keep you stuck from moving on without them. And it seems like this person does not want to leave. This person does not allow you, does not want to allow you to leave or move towards somebody else here. And each time when that happens, this person's rushing in. This person's spying on you a lot to see what's going on in your life. This person's kind of obsessed or that this person's paranoid that they might lose you as an option here. You know, I feel like this person has told you I'm going to leave, I'm going to divorce them or something like that. And, you know, just you wait, I will come towards you, you know, but it just seems like it's not happening. And one of the things, one of the most important things is that if this, if this first person does in fact leave their person to be with you, just keep in mind that this person's coming along with a lot of baggage. Do you want this person, you know? Do you want to take on this person's baggage? You know, so that you, that's a, that's an important factor to really consider here. Five of Wands in the world, Seven of Cups in the Sun. More Leo energy here could be dealing with another Leo. You know, you could be stepping away from this. You know, because it could be a situation that this is not making you happy. But I feel like the person that you're dealing with here, I just feel like this person can't let you go or that this person can't end things with you because they know that you're the one that makes them happy. The chariot here, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy, the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles. Just really can't rely on this person to be quite honest here. This, this is definitely kind of like disturbing your peace in a way. Yeah. It's not showing here, but I feel like sometimes you're walking at shells with this person. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, Page of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords here, and the Three of Cups. They don't want you to leave them. They don't want you. To, they don't want you to leave them for somebody else. But then this person has someone already. They're dealing with the situation here. I feel like this person you know, met you at a time when they were at their lowest of lows and you sort of like gave them some sort of hope. And now when it comes down to leaving this person, the other person, they, this person can't do it. Yeah. Tell me about uh, Leo. Outcome and advice here for Leo. What else does Leo need to know or work on? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for December 2022. We have two of swords here and the four of cups. We have the six of cups here and the king of wands. And then we have the seven of swords here and the nine of swords. Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. We have the Six of Cups and the King of Wands. Interesting. We have True Pairs here. This is someone that you've known for a long time. I do feel like there is someone else in the picture here. Yeah, I do feel like there is someone else in the picture here. It seems like this has become very, very, very toxic. There's lies, there's deception here, there's anxiety, there's stress, there's confusion, there's discontent. It just seems like this person, this king that you're dealing with here, can't leave a past situation behind. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag with the King of Wands, Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords, Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So Leo, you're taking matters into your own hands. You're just not waiting around for this person anymore. Yeah. And you also don't want to take on this person's karma too. That's the thing. Six of Cups here with a Hermit Virgo energy. Tell me about this uh, King of Wands and the Ten of Wands. This person has a lot of trauma. This person has a lot of fear and a lot of uh, uh, burdens here. And I just feel like for some reason, I feel like this person can't just disconnect or disengage or distance themselves from a to toxic relationship that they're in themselves. The Hermit, Virgo energy, the Seven of Swords here and the High Priestess, the uh, Nine of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like you already know what the deal is here regarding this person, you know, regarding their secrets, their lies, deception. You know, I feel like, I feel like yeah, I feel like the secret that's being revealed here is that you are the other person. 
And the thing is, do you want to be the other person? You know? So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do see this sort of like getting worse instead of getting better. I don't, I don't even see this person leaving their current situation. So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Sub uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.